Hello everybody and welcome to Tanuki Token. I'm Lucas. And I'm Brennan. And today we're going to be playing Katamari Damacy. The volume is too loud. That's too quiet. <laughs> Alright. Let's get into this weird ass game. Uh, as long as it's not Cuba War. Hey, I want to play that at some point. I know. There's that's no another weird ass game. <laughs> There's no stopping it. Cuba War is inevitable. Yes. Yes, it is. Just like the King of All Cosmos, he is inevitable. <laughs> so, this is an interesting intro. <laughs> it is, but you know what? At this point, it's just. This is Japanese. That's what makes them amazing. <laughs> yeah, but like now I'm used to their weirdness. Plus, Giant Man in the Sky was ruined for me by Rick and Morty. <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> Not that. The Giant Homeless uh, Man. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The, uh, we, we've been following the Japanese weirdness since high school. I think we're a bit too used to it now. Yeah, there's not much that weirds us out from it. Just, don't get me wrong, there can still be stuff from time to time that it'll be like... Well, I think fun. it was the Kappa. What, what we learned about the Kappa was what broke that, that straw. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yes, I know how to play the game. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. I don't believe you. Play better. This is literally the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I played this on PS2. Not as a kid, unfortunately. I wish I would have, but I didn't know it existed. <laughs> I don't know, the King of All Cosmos is kind of staring into my soul right now. Oh, that's better. And then he opened his eyes again. I, uh, I wish I could skip this. Yeah, jumping in this game is weird. It's just like you move up higher so you can see things around you better. His eyes! He's got such a big face and like tiny eyes. And yet whenever they're open, they scare the bejesus out of me. I think it was around 2014 or 2015 when I first played this game. It was weird as heck, but it was fun. And about a year later, I went to play it again. And for some reason, I felt like extremely nostalgic about the game. Like I had played it as a kid, even though it had only been a year. It was a weird experience. He did it. So they a look, lot of this game... As they look <laughs> up, they see the giant bulge. Yes. <laughs> so, the plot of the game is the king of all cosmos destroyed all of the stars. But he did like so he because do. he thought it was a dream. So he didn't think there was any real consequences. And then he woke up and realized that it wasn't a dream. And so now he's going to force his tiny son to rebuild the stars <laughs> I just I I want to see the mother I think we saw her in the intro how is he that small I don't know and then how big was the mom around the size of the king what hey he'll he might grow I don't know. I sincerely hope so. I am the principal of Cosmos. The size of a tea kettle. Not even that. He's smaller than a tea kettle. It's like the size of a double A battery. <laughs> Is the king of all Cosmos from Space Alabama? I don't know. He could be. I don't know where Space Alabama is. <laughs> I just assume it's in space somewhere. 
But like, I don't think a child born of two gigantic people would ever be this small unless inbreeding was there. Somewhere. Anywhere. This could just be how Cosmo people start out. Eh. They might just start out tiny. Hey, inbreeding and royalty go hand in hand. <laughs> Oh. Oh yeah, he does that all the time in this game. This was the very first thing we ever collided with. And like, you roll up a specific thing, he's like, oh, I remember when we first rolled up that specific thing. He's like, you've done this before? <laughs> Is this how the cosmos were created in the first place? That's really dumb. <laughs> Not confusing. Just dumb. Just dumb. There's a lot of dangerous things in here. I would not want to walk around in this room. <laughs> just go into the next room. It's filled with just Legos <laughs> everywhere. Oh, God. I mean, like, this this, I mean, this is pretty close to that, though. You got shogi pieces. You got dice. You got... Lipstick. You got thumbtacks. <laughs> thumbtacks is hitting a shot. Yes, I cannot roll up objects larger. <laughs> Would I like to view this again? Absolutely not. Yay. You have I a really did. long arm. Well, he's a really long person. He might be the long, long man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of Japanese best, weirdness. Best twist at the end of a commercial. Series of commercials ever. Yes. It was amazing. Ta -ta. Like, it, you let you want to say it star. comes out of nowhere. You want to say it comes out of nowhere, but it really doesn't. So all those objects that I just stole from that person's house have now been turned into a star. As you do. And apparently I have my own planet. This is my home planet. Something about a space mushroom. Let's just keep playing the game. Yeah. Moving on. Let's go make another star. Make a star two. Very creative level name. <laughs> oh yeah, he always like says hi in some other language and then he's like, have you ever been to this place before? No. I don't think I have. Pretty sure this entire game takes place in Japan. <laughs> For the most part. Tells like you get towards the end of the game. And then it just gets weird. Yes. I mean it's already weird. But it gets weirder. So we're going for a twenty centimeter katamari ball. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. You've just made the, the world's time most limit. dangerous katamari ball. Yes. <laughs> Mwahaha. Add some fire into that. Oh, oh, better. I don't think there's any in this level, but we'll see some in the later level. <laughs> no! I lost some pieces. There, now we have screws to go along with the thumbtacks. It's all mushy from all the food items. Probably got some dog hair on there too. Most likely, and all sorts of lint and stuff like that. Ah! <laughs> you! The music in this game's interesting. And it's kind of all over the place. There's a few songs in here that are sung. Like they're completely English lyrics, but they're all sung by Japanese people. So. They're, they don't always have the best English. They might not even know what they're saying. They might not. That is true sometimes. I think they're good songs still. But, and I'm sure they put a lot of effort into it. Well, I mean, at least try. Hey, look, look at us. <laughs> we are now in the most dangerous room. 
10 centimeters isn't big enough. He wants it bigger, Brandon. <laughs> Dude, are you sure about that? <laughs> Now I can move on to the outside area if I want to. But it'd be better to roll up some more stuff first before I go out there. You can't roll up that same class. But you can roll up the card. Yes. The cards have less mass than the Santa Claus. Obviously. If anything scampers, roll it up before it runs off. If it's alive, make sure you roll it up before it can get away. Even <laughs> if it's not alive. Just roll it up. Just roll everything up. So we can light it on fire and turn it into a star. Yes. People, yeah, that can be a star. Yeah, they can. Still can't roll up the Santa Clauses. Man, I'm gonna roll them up. I don't think I can roll up this off. Oh, I can. Cool. <laughs> um, what Not did I run into? Baseball. So I've reached the goal, but. He's gonna let me go until the time limit runs out. So I can get a higher score and make a better star. Why is there just knives everywhere? That was a good question. Knives and scissors and forks. Ooh. And Santa Claus. And who, who lives <laughs> here that their house looks like this? Um, I assume that guy with the golf club. Pretty sure he lives here. <laughs> but like, why all the dangerous objects everywhere? No idea. Our house is so child unfriendly we have child lock ins where we lock children in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Getting some tomatoes. They like Fortnite, we gave them an actual battle royale. Oh. To the death. In our backyard. <laughs> there was no survivors. Oh, I got a present. I didn't even notice it. Neat. And, and an axe? Why an axe? Why not? <laughs> you might need to chop firewood. I don't know. I'm starting to think of Katamari rolling through these There's a frog that you're flying on the Lego airplane, but I just rolled it up. <laughs> I'm really starting to think this Katamari roll was the best thing that ever happened to them. Probably. Yeah, well, they need they, potentially yeah. hazardous items. Exactly. I don't have to clean anything, because I'm doing all the work and rebuilding the cosmos at the same time. Really, the, o the only thing that's a problem really is for the prince. He gets all the shit work. <laughs> well, he has to do all this work even though it's not his fault. How do you get magnets stuck to your own back? Very carefully. <laughs> Maybe she's a robot. In Shuriken? What the hell? Why is this the most unsafe house in existence? I don't know. Should ask the people who live here. I still have two minutes? Jeez. <laughs> I feel like I've been at this forever. <laughs> Eggplants everywhere. No, there's only a couple of them. They're not everywhere. Eee. Spatulas. I only rolled up one. Spatula. There we go. Chimichanga. Oh, I like how it shows me on the TV. It's and not a sad TV. <laughs> My Katamari is not that big, unfortunately. We're maybe, still going to be burning someday. people alive later. For 
science, I swear. We gotta build the stars. Oh no, I'm running out of time. But you haven't systematically collected everything in the house. I can't. <laughs> What's it systematic? See, look, I can't fit in, into that little closet because I'm too big. Now. And I can't go under the table because I'm too big. Now. Have you wrought upon this wretched land? Hey, I cleaned the house for them. <laughs> it is true. They needed it pretty bad. Royal Rainbow. Wow. He is moved to tears by the size of this thing. It is so incredible. <laughs> How big would that be in relation to him? Very small. Wait, how big is the prince in relation to him? See, there's the catamaran button in his other hand over there. It's very small. How big is he? Very big. One of my favorite levels in Katamari Forever for the PS3 is you get to roll up the King of Cosmos. <laughs> that is the most amazing level. Oh yeah, here's the story going on in the game, by the way. Of course. <laughs> the stars have suddenly vanished from the sky. This is, cause is being investigated. Now back to superhero beating up monsters. <laughs> Yay! Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Well, See y'all later, everybody. <laughs> Bye!